beautiful fish. So you're minding your business, hitting your workday hard as your old man starts texting you picture after picture of bass. Pre-spawn bass. Time to pull the plug on the workday and hop in the boat with the boys. Daylight hours lengthen and water begins to warm as winter gradually turns into spring. It's pre-spawn bass fishing time. During this seasonal transition, bass emerge from their winter haunts in search of the best place to spawn. However, Moody early spring weather and its barrage of warm and cold fronts prevent bass from immediately building nests in the shallows. While awaiting the arrival of warmer, stable weather, bass seek a comfort zone somewhere in between their wintertime hangouts and their spawning banks. Yeah. You can hit the jackpot cool. by finding one of these pre-spawn staging areas because the fish tend to stack up there. But the depth, the location, the sweet spots differ on various bodies of water. So you put in your work and find the pre-spawn staging areas. A little bit to your left is where I caught those earlier according to my GPS uh, waypoint scale. There's a little more left. There's a point, it comes to a point right here. I said on the look, I had a hit. I had a hit. What's that? I had a pretty good hit just a minute ago. Oh, well, oh yeah, he is it. They're all along this edge. It drops back behind us here. I'm up on the shelf, yeah. and we're casting off the edge of the shelf. Okay. Are they holding on something? Yeah, they're holding on that all that rock along the edge here. Right now, they're getting ready to slide up is what they're trying to do. Okay. There we go. Oh, he's a jumper. <laughs> Another one about the same size, I think. Yeah. They aren't as big as they were earlier, but that's all right. The big ones are still there. <sighs> there we go. Nice little fish. Largemouth out here off this brink. A prime pre-spawn staging area for largemouth bass consists of rock piles and four to five feet of water. We look for areas with a combination of rocks and aquatic vegetation because bass prefer spawning on a hard bottom close to these Not spots. Yet. It's a decent one though. It's the same school, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's the same school. Same bunch of nice fish. This one's a little smaller than the rest, but we'll do it. Same school though, same spot. Oh, nice little fish. Let him go there. There we go. So that same bunch of fish must still be here. right on the break. They're not necessarily all in one little spot. They're just in a kind of an area along that break line is exactly what it is. It's pretty windy. They're all the way across the back here, Gavin, is where they were. Wind is hard, makes it hard to feel the bites. Just gotta kind of work the area, Gav, that's all. Work, you know what I mean? Work all the way around. I don't think they're all in just, I, I mean, up front, I don't know that there are. I think they're on that break right there behind the boat, but. Okay. Too big a bowl in my line there, I can't feel anything. There we go. Not as big though, it just feels like a small one. Ha, guess what this one is? <laughs> rock bass, big old Rocky. <laughs> Gotta have a few of those too, I guess. <laughs> big one though, when you can lip them.
because everything is sitting in there today. What these fish are doing, they're, they're staging to come up there. It's, it's still pretty cool water here for this time of year. It's big flat out here in front of us. It comes up into four or five feet of water. And uh, there's gravel and rock up here. And these fish are staging on this deep, deep break here. It drops the 22 to 25 feet of water right behind us. And we're catching them out of about six, maybe seven feet. Um, I'm, I'm kind of using a finesse rig. The water temperature is 62 degrees uh, out here right now. And so it's not, not real warm yet. But what they're doing, they're staging here to come up over this flat. To, and I'm sure they're going to spawn here pretty quick if the water temperature gets just a little bit warmer. And uh, when that happens, then, then they'll be all over this flat, smallmouth and largemouth. Some of the smallmouth they claim have, have spawned already, but I caught one a little earlier that was still pretty full. Not only are the fish staging on this break, but on another break just like it. Um, they're, they're, I found them there as well. And uh, it's really windy, so it's very hard to, with a light little bait, it's hard to uh, detect your strikes. Actually, I caught a few fish a little bit earlier on a rattle trap, uh, mostly pike, but um, they seem to like that rattle trap. Anyway, that's what we're doing this evening. It's just kind of a quick couple hours we're going to come out and see what we can do here. Cold front condition, we, gotta, we do have a bad cold front coming in. It's actually gotten colder in the last couple hours, so... It'll kind of slow them down a little bit. This sure has changed the last couple years. You get a lot of this real slimy green stuff. And it's really hard to keep a bait clean. You'll see it on the... You'll see it on the... See it right there? That stuff. And it's just, it's terrible here in the, in the chain lakes. It's getting, it's getting worse all the time. Just, a, just slimy. Hard to keep baits clean. As the evening presses on, the temperature starts dropping. Gavin notices a shift in the clouds as the cold front pushes in. Look at that. Look at that. Those are all that front. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the way across there. It's a it's a pretty good front. It's supposed to be a good cold front. Rain coming in tonight. It's kind of an interesting looking cloud. Oh yeah, that they are. Well, I'm gonna slide this again that way, I think. There we go. A little better. This one might need a net on gas, I think. All right. I'm gonna jump. Whoa, look at that one. <laughs> That's a nice one. And there you go. <laughs> there we go. Jumping. That's more like it, huh? Absolutely. Fish grass. Yeah. We'll take a few more of those, huh? Boy, he ate it. <laughs> ah, you're good. Just got to stick with it. We'll take fish like that all day long. We'll let him go. He's a pretty nice fish. Really slow. The presentation is slow, slow, slow. I almost fish it like you're fishing live bait. Oh, it's crappy. Big crappy. Oh. oh, look at that crappy. Yeah. Look at everything. Wow. Picture of that guy? That's a big crappy. Oh. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. Oh, it's a big bluegill. Look at that thing. <laughs> A little bit of everything out there, huh? Look at that bluegill.
looking around the boat with these panfish mixed in, there's unusually large rocks surrounded by patches of grass and weeds, a prime area for a pre-spawn bass to stage. Gavin changes it up and goes after panfish, large crappies, bluegills, rock bass, fish he really wants to take home. But we're going to keep this brood stock in the lake for future generations. Preserving the future generations means preserving another great day on the water down the road. We can always find smaller pan fish to take home and put in a frying pan. How thick that thing is. We'll try it a little deeper too, Gav. I'll slide it off the edge in a minute here. All right. I just caught three different species. I'm happy. <laughs> and I can't say they're all pretty small. That crappie was pretty nice. That bluegill was pretty nice. Yeah. Chilly. Yeah, it is. It's getting. It's actually getting cooler again. <sighs> Tough to sand it down. It's a big fish, Dad. It's a nice fish. Whatever we got going on there. He liked that bug, bug didn't he? Going up here on the front, you can. I don't think it's a big one. <laughs> well, it's a nice one, though. <laughs> I'm on point with my net job today. There you go. A fat one? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Pretty fish. Nice. Nice fish. Pick up some night crawlers the other night? A bunch of them, yeah. Did you? Yeah, they were in a blue container. It was pretty convenient that someone left them by the end of the street. Smallmouth also stage along hard bottom flats in the bays, but these fish relate less to cover. Look for a tapering type of bank where smallmouth are kind of moseying their way into the shallows. Smallmouth can be scattered anywhere along gravel flats. But larger concentrations of bass stage near big boulders and rocks mixed in with pea gravel and sand. Well, I'm thinking we'll give her another 15 or 20 minutes and probably head her home. Yeah. Because <laughs> I get her covered up the night before the rain. Famous last words that always lead to another fish. There he is. That's him. Woo! Got one, Gramps. I did it. What you I got? It. Yeah. Oh, that's a bigger fish. A sheephead. You really? No. <laughs> no, don't say that. It's fighting weird, too. No, it's a smallie. That's a, what is that? Is that a smallie? I suppose you want me to get the net. No. You can see it? Oh, it is a pike. Well, at least I hooked him right. Ooh. I thought you said you had a big pike. Oh, yeah. Darn it. <laughs> I like you, but I don't like you. You said there's a big pike. That's a, <laughs> it's I mean, a big pike. <laughs> got a big pike's baby? Something like that. <laughs> Thanks, Rips. You got it. <laughs> nice pike. Yeah. I was hoping it was bass, but look at the, look at the bite mark in them. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Something had a, oops, sorry. Something had a hole though. Look at that right there. Oh, that's cool. Had a big. Thanks, buddy. Awesome. Hooked him just right in the top of the mouth. Couldn't bite me off. Oh. There we go. That's not as good. Not a big fish, though. I don't think. Not that big. <laughs> Swally. Thought he was bigger. 
<laughs> pretty fish though. Look how pretty they are. They've been on these rocks up here. Okay. There we go. All right, that's a good one to call it on. Thanks for checking out Fishing Roots. If this video was your sort of thing, give it a nod with a like. And your input matters. Share in the comments below what future content, fish species, fishing tactics you'd like us to create. And subscribe for future content. Hey, thanks, Gramps. I had a lot of fun. More from Fishing Roots soon. Said I should be a big shot. Said I